You may think that I know too much But now it's never too much Because when push comes to shove Girl, just trust I won't get sick of us Do my salty crush I'm doing something different Your name's been on my tongue My cup's been looking fuller You're picking by my walls And baby, that's sad are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn door. Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about mood boosting perfumes. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. So my scent of the day is Artemisia by Penhaligons. This is such a beautiful tea, vanilla, musky kind of scent. It is perfect for this time of the year. I wear this all year round to be honest. This was my first ever perfume that I bought from Penhaligans. I'm so obsessed with it and that is my scent of the day. So here on YouTube mainly, we always talk about mood boosting perfumes. We talk about wearing perfumes when we are in certain moods. And for me, it's my mood that dictates the perfumes that I wear. It's not always the season. Sometimes it's the season. It's not always about what's trending. It's usually for me about what boosts my mood. If I'm in a happy mood, what kind of perfume do I want to wear? And that's how it works. And a lot of YouTube reviewers have talked about, you know, wearing perfumes depending on what mood they're in. So that's definitely a big thing in Fragcom. Now, when Pen Halligans, when Pen Halligans came out with potions and remedies oh guys you know i was there i was there fast 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 i could not wait to get this into my collection because i have been seeing it on facebook i can't lie i've been seeing this on facebook but you can't really trust what you see on facebook and i just thought are people making this up what is going on penhaligons are releasing five perfumes in one go as far as i know that has not happened before so these perfumes are absolutely let me even just jump right in because it came out earlier this week i believe but i have known this was going to come out for like i think three weeks to a month on facebook people are talking about it someone even posted a sample that they received and i'm just like it's not on the website i can't get it anywhere what is happening that's the reason why i never told you guys about it because i wasn't sure when this came out I was like, yes, yes, and yes. Penhaligons have four different collections, and they are Trade Roots, which consist of Alfetti, Cairo, Impressa, um, Legacy of Petra. All those kind of perfumes are definitely in the Trade Roots collection. They also have British Tales, and those consist of perfumes like Solaris, Luna, um, high growth bouquet they've got bluebell and they obviously have the portrait collection that one it's absolutely it blows my mind i think i have every single one of the portraits and that consists of um duchess rose it's got um lord george it's got mr thompson you've got blazing sam terrible teddy you've got changing constance now we are going to dive into potions and remedies. Now, I am, I've got them all here, by the way, and I have not seen this on YouTube at all. So, I'm going to do this in terms of, actually, I'm going to share the perfumes, and then I'm going to show you how you can layer it if you have other Penhaligons perfumes and other perfumes as well. And I will start by letting you guys know that this is 100 ml bottles. They are all other perfumes and they retail for £195. And in my opinion, that is a very well priced perfume for a niche perfume that smells absolutely... Wait for it. So I'm going to start with Liquid Love. Now this one is absolutely beautiful this blew my mind from first sniff i cannot tell you 
how beautiful this perfume is this is a rose perfume this is an elegant rose perfume you do have other notes like ginger turmeric you've got some musk in there but ultimately this gives me a creamy rose and spiciness in the opening and also in the dry down if you are a lover of perfumes like delina by performs the mali or any rose perfume even duchess rose by penhaligans you are going to absolutely adore this now in terms of layering i have layered this i've not had this for i think i've had this for like two days so i've not really worn it a lot but i've tried layering it with delina smells absolutely mind-blowing the tartness in the delina here this definitely calms it down a little bit and it smells amazing and long lasting i've also tried it with rose sherry by Guerlain. This is a fantastic rose, sparkling rose kind of scent. Smells incredible with it. Any rose perfume in your collection or even vanilla would definitely go with this perfume. Now, the name Liquid Love is so fitting to the way this smells. This, to me, I can just imagine wearing this on Valentine's Day, on a date now with my husband. This is a feminine leaning perfume in my opinion. This to me, it's not really giving unisex. It's not giving masculine. It's quite feminine in the way that it smells and I love it so much. So that is Liquid Love by Penhaligans from the Potions and Remedies. So the next one on my list is UD Audacity. The audacity, guys, the audacity of this perfume is incredible. This on the bottle says boldness in a bottle, vanilla and incense. And this is what you get. You get a lot and lot of rich and decadent vanilla. And you get the incense, you get a little bit of the spicy. It is beautiful. This to me feels like, smells like um celine by um black tie by celine mix it with baby cat by ysl so these two smells like this in my opinion but these two together is cost me an arm and a leg but i don't even need those two because i've got this no, luckily for me i have them but if you have those two and you layer it together you are going to get you the audacity and it is so long lasting this lasted on my skin for the whole day and it's one that projects like people are going to know you are around the name is very fitting because this is the most potent of all of the perfumes i highly highly recommend it. and don't worry i'm gonna tell you guys my I'm going to rank them in order of how much I like them. And I can tell you they're all really beautiful. But I think for you guys that may want to go and buy it. Or I want to tell you guys which one you can keep your eyes on. Or which one you need to get. None of them are blind buy worthy. Mostly because of the price. It's too expensive to blind buy a perfume as this. Unless you have excess funds for your perfumes. Then do you blind buy all of them. And in terms of layering, actually, I forgot to mention, this goes perfectly with Babylon, also by Penhaligans. I don't know if you guys watched my recent video, the video before the video of the last video. Um, this is literally a vanilla as well, but it's a very powerful vanilla that is borderline offensive to some. It gives me a Middle Eastern vibe, but for some reason, it goes really really well this with this perfume the spices and the vanilla just works extremely well together with this perfume of course you can layer it with um black tie by celine but it gets more vanilla with that and you can also layer it with baby cats expect beast mode vanilla on the on the next level um but obviously you can wear this perfume alone it gives incredible longevity it's amazing so the next one is my husband's favorite and this one is a balm of calm oh my god literally the names who came up with these names the names are so fitting to the way that the perfume smells on here it says this is lavender and sandalwood and it's panic no more so this is for that calming moment relaxing it is beautiful the sandalwood hair is creamy the lavender isn't loud and you guys know how, how i feel about lavender 
but to me the way they've done lavender lavender here it smells really good i personally love the way lavender are done in um masculine linen perfumes over feminine linen perfumes that's just a personal opinion of mine and it's a personal preference um in here they've done the lavender the way they do it in the masculine linen perfumes that's why it works so so well this is perfectly unisex but it leans slightly more to the masculine side just a little bit not too much it is beautiful it is like it reminds me a little bit of another 13 by Le Labo not exactly the same this is way better this is more refined this is smoother this is just elegant this is next level so in terms of layering i've not really experimented too much with it because like i said i've only had it for a few days so i bought um i went to the shower and i used my blend and bouquet shower gel the perfume is beautiful but the perfume is very masculine so i showered with this and i used a balm of calm and the scent is gorgeous absolutely beautiful this is the shower gel um, by pen halligans i love the packaging i think it's just absolutely stunning and um, the perfume that i've layered it with is one of the best if not the best by christian louboutin and this is luby croc luby croc is to me a vanilla and woody scent it's a very stunning perfume is probably my is it my it's probably my favorite from the line the red line it is stunning together with this perfume the sandalwood are doing it this also has sandalwood in it, it smells incredible together and this gives it a little bit more of a feminine edge because this is a, like i said it's a unisex perfume but it's leaning a little bit masculine but i love it nevertheless so that is a balm of calm by ken halligan's so the next perfume is a kiss of bliss this on here says that it has musk and clover and this is a feel good kind of scent this is definitely going to make you feel good it's quite musky but in the best best possible way this is not your skanky mask this is not your animalic mask this is not your regular mask this is a mask done in a way that you have never smelled before i can almost guaranteed very smooth very elegant just very high up there it is absolutely stunning the only perfume i have layered this with so far um is impressa by pen halligans this smells like coco mademoiselle intense but a little bit sweeter and less of the patchouli i will recommend this all day every day over that perfume i think it's stunning this is a perfume you can wear all year round and it smells amazing with this perfume this is also quite musky fresh a little bit green they balance each other out so so well i highly recommend this combo it is beautiful like i said you can wear this perfume alone but i like to layer it with other pen Halligans perfume especially i think it's beautiful i can't actually think of a perfume that can compare to any of the remedies so far apart from the one with the sandalwood that definitely reminds me a little bit of another 13 but it's more elevated so yeah this is a kiss of bliss and it is a feel good very very happy kind of scent i absolutely love it and the last perfume is vra vra vroom <laughs> and this is um osmanthus and magnolia and this one is a perfect pick me up this is vitality vapor this is incredible my god if you are not into green perfumes this is likable this is absolutely likable it's a fresh green floral with the osmanthus uh, magnolia it also opens up a little bit citrusy and it gives it a brightness it's almost like a pick me up a lift me up kind of scent it is really really beautiful and the only perfume out of all of the perfumes i have at the moment i would say it layers really really well with quercus and this one is also by pen halligans and you can actually layer it with glossier u but the thing is i have a thing with layering designer perfumes with niche perfumes i just it's just a thing it's really weird i know i have done it i have done it in the past but i just don't it's like 
levels are different you know i'd rather layer designer with designer and layer niche with niche i feel like combining the two worlds it just doesn't quite do it it's like cheap and expensive together it just gives it that's just my opinion please don't come for me uh, but i would only layer a niche perfume with another niche perfume i think these two works extremely well together this is a lemony citrusy musky scent absolutely gorgeous on its own and perfect for layering like i said you could try it with glossier you know that i have but i feel like because that one opens up quite citrusy and bright it would work well with this perfume if you wanted to layer it but you don't need to so that is vava vroom by Penn Halligan. right so in order to kind of rank them down for you guys to know which is my favorite, which is my least favorite. I don't have a least favorite for sure. But I will start with the one that I think is probably not as uh, crowd-pleasing. I think crowd-pleasing is the perfect word. And I think the one that's least crowd-pleasing is Vava Vroom. Only because the Osmanthus is quite green. Um, the magnolia does it have magnolia yeah it does have magno magnolia it's a fresh floral with a lot of greenness so i don't imagine everyone loving this but it is beautiful nevertheless for me it's a spring and summer scent so that comes in at my number five and at number four has to be a balm of calm and the only reason this is number four is because another one that i don't think everybody will like if you're a guy and you like more masculine leaning perfumes and you love lavender and sandalwood you will definitely love this i'm not saying a woman can't wear it but i just feel like it leans a little bit more masculine than it does feminine so that comes in at, at my number four and that is a balm of calm and at number three is my kiss of bliss this is just a calming feel good kind of perfume i feel like a lot of people would love it especially if you like musk but you want it done in a way that you've never smelled before so that is a kiss of bliss and that comes in at my number three now number one for me personally is the Oud de audacity but it's gonna be number two because i feel like it's not everyone that's gonna like the incense it's not everyone that's gonna like that very powerful kind of bright in your face kind of scent that literally does not leave your skin it stays on for hours on end it may bug some people that's the reason why it's my number two but if you have been looking for baby cat everywhere look no further get this instead i feel like this is better than baby cat imagine baby cat without the smokiness because baby cat is very smoky it's not very friendly at the beginning of the perfume when you first spray it it's not the most friendly but it does dry down to the most beautiful vanilla perfume so if you are looking for a little bit more toned down and ref um, and refined baby cat try Udi audacity it is stunning that comes in at my number two and you guys already know number one is liquid love liquid love liquid love this is the most likable i feel like everybody will love this perfume even if you're not into rose even if you're not into floral scent you would love this this is not floral all the way this gives me a little bit of a sparkling type of champagne vibes it is like a bougie smelling perfume it's a very very likable perfume and it comes in at my number one so that is liquid love by pen Halligan. so so my lovelies that is it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed this review um let me know which one sounds like it's your type of perfume let me know which one you love the most these are mood boosting perfumes and i feel like a lot of brands are going to get on this bandwagon they are going to get on this mood boosting perfume they're going to have their own different interpretations of it and i look forward to seeing what everyone is going to do um let uh, me know which one is your absolute favorite comment it down below are you interested in getting any of these perfumes let me know comment everything down below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye